All right. So I measured this. I thought this was a 239, but it's a 221. It's like 30, 38 or 39, I forget which one, 38 to 42, I think. Because, easy way to tell, triangle on top, but it's got trapezoidal, I think that's what they're called, holes for the colon passages. So triangle, trapezoidal, trapezoidal. If it's a 46, 48, it's triangle, circle, circle. So, in case you're looking and the heads are off, you can find out what it is pretty easily by that. I'm going to clean this bad boy up. Um, three ring, dome, piston. <sighs> I'm try to find something like this. Yeah, I'm trying to go to a friend's place and see if he's got any. Uh, it's a kind of a trip, though, but it's fun. Down at Ray Hilger's. We'll see if we go there. If not, I'll let you guys know. And we won't go. But, <clears throat> first, I'm going to do a once-over on this. Make sure I'm not missing anything. And I know people mentioned in the last video, hood straps, yes, I didn't do them. Uh, they haven't come in, and I don't think there's a need for him to pay me to do that when you literally just have to, like, drill a couple holes somewhere and bolt the thing together. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not a good use of resources for him. And the pedal pads, he couldn't find them, and he said he's got to take the body off anyway for paint, and it's going to slip through those little holes he's got. I don't know if he's going to weld pads on later or what but something has to be done there because you can't just screw on a pedal pad you need a uh, a tab kind of that goes off to the side with a hole in it to then screw in your pedal pad uh, because it's so close to the steering column that it needs to be offset to the left and the brake probably has to be offset to the right but yeah, those few things that I said I was going to do, I'm only not doing them because we don't have the stuff. No big reason why, just just that. So, Jacob's on his way here. Uh, so I'm going to wait for him to get back. I'm going to see if he's got time to go. Uh, and then if he does or he doesn't, we'll go based on that. Finally, what y'all been waiting for? This assembly. How come the end of the threads are always the one that messed up? This is stupid. These nuts are like just bigger than a half inch. So they're getting stuck. That's really stupid. Ow! Damn Murphy, dude. Ow! Of course I had to pull out and on the push back in, this unbent perfectly to smash me in the knuckle. Mm.
Yeah, so we're almost there. Got to take off. This is just like falling out. Bottom of the transmission bolts, and take these guys off because they ended up they're gonna be in the way when we pull it out. Because I don't want to pull my light bar off because I'm stubborn. And it's also super annoying. And I got this chain follow because you can pull it really high, so I really don't need to take this off. Because, yeah, putting these carriage bolts on are not fun. For those who know, no. And we'll probably just leave this one hanging because, so I'll know left to right. Yeah. Want to take care of those two transmission bolts on the bottom? Or yeah. push this forward till it's underneath the hoist. Take the bolts out of the bottom and the chain over there. Screw it in there. The bolts that for the intake are in that little baby bottle. Uh, yeah, that chain will be fine. If the bolts can fit through these wings. Oh yeah, true. If they, okay, they cool. Nice. So I'm gonna use the laboratory and conduct some secret experiments. Okay. And take care of that, and by the time I'm back, you'll probably be sitting around, because I take forever. Yes. And I was yeah, like, I gotta take this. What? The battery cable off. I totally forgot about that. It's still on. Yeah. And what? Oh, the starter. The starter. Totally forgot about that. Could have been bad. Hey. Wasn't because I noticed. Well, like, oh, this thing's pulling in a certain direction. Yeah, they thought. But yeah, my past. Last conversation I had with him was describing like what happened. Like, oh, the piston let go with the wrist pin. And he's like, oh yeah, what motor you got? He's like, he's seen everything, so nothing's like, nothing's a big deal. That's funny. He's seen pistons fly through the side. He's seen, he's seen so much worse than anything yeah. we could possibly imagine. There's like, oh, all right. That's it? That's so you, all? So you need a set of pistons. And I asked him, he's like, oh, you can reuse everything. Yeah. Reuse the bearings, reuse the wrist pins. He's like, the guy to ask. Reuse it all. Huh. The thing won't come off the post. Hmm. It's too, uh, that please. There we go. Alright, cool. It's free now. Alright. Here we go. Appreciate you doing it so far. Yeah, I took the bottom bolt off. I was like, you know what? Let's just take it out. Might as well just take it out. What's up with the trends? Is it hanging? It's, it's chilling. It seems fine. I'm not stressed out. No, it looks good. I mean, I don't know what you take my oil pressure line off. Did that just pop? Look, fold it right over. <sighs> at least they sell the kits at AutoZone. Is there anything else connected that we forgot? I saw it and I was like, oh, I gotta disconnect that. And then I went to take a poop. I didn't think you were gonna pull it out. Yeah, then I figured why not, now it's fucker. Yeah. Well, I can take it off. Yeah. Whoopsies. Yeah, you might. Massive wisdom. Your eagerness is what it is. Which yeah. is good sometimes, but other times. No, no, it's usually not been good for me lately. Mm. Not bad, huh? No, they're reheated. I've okay. never had reheated chicken nuggets. Me neither. It's a I have reheated fries. They suck. They yeah. so bad. Cool in there. It's like wrapped around it somehow. Yeah. Why? Because. Because why not? Better go back. I'm wondering if I should buy solid lifter, I mean solid valve guides, so I don't have that issue anymore. Of them falling out? Well, they're fine now. Well, you haven't run it. Yeah, it's money I don't need to spend. Work I don't need to do. Yeah. Nice. That's why they made it so big. So it comes all out at once? Yeah. Oh, there's the... 
Right? Um, I thought that was the piston. Are there, are there metal chunks? No. No, it looks good. It's fine. If you didn't know any better, it'd say it was fine. Yeah, until we pull the pan and there's a piece of... There's gonna be a giant piece of piston in there. <laughs> yeah. It's probably best to start that as early as possible. What's up? I love you like I know you very well. He doesn't know you at all. I'm like, okay, so we're gonna have a good day. He gets out of the car seat by himself, walks out wood. Yeah, screwdriver. <laughs> you should be making this a reel. Are you new? I'm a YouTuber, not an Instagrammer. Get it right. Oh there it is. Oh, nice. See the piston skirt in there? There it is. Whoops. Oops. Oh, a couple pieces. Okay. Was oh. one clean break? So, found this in the pan. This is probably not supposed to be there. It's a cap to some ceiling. Another piece. Yeah, well, that's, that's what the pan's for. Yeah, the pan is to catch everything when it breaks. Another piece. Look at that. On the table, but if anything happens, it catches. Because this table has been smashed by the Rosa Pickup. Yeah. Closing up shop. We put the flathead in the back of Jacob's truck and we're just gonna bring it to Helger's and see what he says. He has a set of pistons for me, but we don't know. You know, he's kind of unsure if we can just piston slap and it'll be all right. So might as well bring it to him and he'll give us his opinion. Hopefully we don't get too much debris in here on the way. A little bit in the bed. Yeah, I think it'll be alright. Well, we'll disassemble the thing anyway, mostly. We'll blow the entire motor apart. Yeah, it'll be alright. At Helger's place, got two sets of pistons. See which one will fit a five thou and a two and a half thou. Whichever fits better, we'll use. Let me borrow a hone and the stand. Got a set of rings. So, we should be cooking. What'd you get? Uh, intake. Put it away. So, I forgot to take the camera out. Edmund's dual intake for an APA. Yep. It's gonna be nice. Yeah, cover up the engine bay a lot better than um, yeah. What tape? <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, so let's pack this up, grab some eat, and hopefully get the motor freshened up. You like my wardrobe back there? I do. <laughs> Half the clothes I own are in this truck. I'll put it over there. That over there. So hey, this I'll step on this. So back in the RAC Global Headquarters. Um you know Ray thought it seemed fine, it'll probably be alright. Just throw a set of pistons in there and send it. So he was gracious enough to let me borrow his Dingleberry Dingle Hopper. Uh, to give it a little hone job and these are not brake shoes so these are the five thou over and two and a half thou over one's domed like I have now and the other one's flat I'd rather have the flat set so I don't have to run double gasket and not worried about the heads hitting my pistons and also I can it'll be less compression and I can run a blower better on it so I don't know I'm, I'm running around with some ideas you know I'm not gonna do the blower yet but I think this most motor will definitely be up and running this weekend again uh, I don't know 
it might still smoke. We're kind of iffy on the groove here. Um, he felt and it seemed like it might be all right. But it's definitely going to be better than it was before because this is standard bore. It's never been, uh, never been opened up. And he took one of the 5 thou over pistons and it slipped right in. Uh, we still got to check if it'll go all the way down because we still got that the rod in there. Uh, so we're going to check if it goes all the way down or not. And if it does on every single, uh, every single cylinder, then we're going to throw the 5 thou overs in there. Should be all right for these rings should still work. Yeah, they're standard bore, but you know, five thou ain't that much. I'll call him and see if he's see if this will be all right. But yeah, probably ending it for today. You probably won't see anything on this motor, uh, but tonight I'm gonna come in here and get this thing stripped down uh, and start rebuilding it um, or fixing it. He was also gracious enough to let me borrow this flathead engine stand adapter, but my shaft here, well, this shaft here is the size of, sorry, the light is terrible right now. Is the size of this here. So I found a pipe that fits this. So I'm just gonna template this here and make my own and uh, use that. So I won't be using this one, but I'll have to fabricate one before I do anything. I'll, that's what I'm definitely gonna be doing tonight because I can't do anything teardown related until I make this. Um, so I'm gonna have to find a thick piece of steel somewhere. I had one back there, I probably still do somewhere. Um, and I'm going to get after it because I don't really care if this thing smokes. Um, I don't care about a gouge. This is not a performance engine. It's just to get me down the road with a smile on my face. So I don't care if there's that gouge. Yes, it might cause damage later. I'm willing to take the risk uh, because I have a 41 block coming that I'm probably going to build for this car or another one, I don't know, um, whatever. I'll have one that's gonna be like all set. And I also have a 21 stud that I'm in the process of building. Uh, machine work's all done on the block, just have to get it assembled. And I gotta pay a shop to do the assembly. I uh, just don't have the cash to do that right now, but that'll come soon. That's supposed to be for the three window. But who knows? Okay, enough blabbing. That is it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I wish I grabbed my camera. It was in the truck at Helgers, but I did not record almost anything. So, sorry about that. Next time, I'll try to be better. Um, but yeah, catch you guys tomorrow. Like always, love doing this. Not stopping anytime soon.